Welcome to Bulls Presents Tabletop Ready Tips for the Rest of Us, where I, your host, Adam Harry, take you through the quick and dirty of how to get your stuff tabletop ready. On today's edition, we have Congo Line Painting. What exactly is that? Well, as you can see here, I have a squad of, of Marines on a, uh, a stick that I've taped off. Um, basically, what I'm going to do is show you guys a really quick way to get some stuff primed and ready to rock and roll. Um, you're probably wondering why you would want to use this technique and why you would adhere them to this, uh, this cardboard stick versus, say, the base as well. If you check out our other tutorial we did with the urban bases, that's why. So now I have all these guys' bases ready to go rock and roll. I've done 10 already, so there you go. And now I've got uh, 10 Marines ready to get uh, some base coat on and ready to get rock and roll. The first step in the process, after you get them built obviously, is going to be to adhere them to a stick of some type. Uh, a ruler would be great for this. To, to use as a nice flat surface for you to adhere them to. Uh, I use a piece of cardboard that I put some tape on. Uh, double sided tape works great, glue works, whatever you want to do. The, the point is that you can lift them up and rotate them, move them around, and they don't fall off. That's the idea. If you can get to that point with whatever you want to use around laying in a house, do it. Um, so we're going to take them out back and going to give them a quick, dry, uh, quick prime of black paint and uh, bring them back in your show off. Got all 10 Marines primed now, uh, as you can see here. Not a big surprise there. The next step in the process is going to be to hit them up with the red primer. Now, I'm, because I'm painting blood angels, surprise, surprise. Now, the reason I chose a black primer versus a white primer when using a red is because black is more forgiving in this paint style. So it's going to cover up your mistakes a lot more. If you use white with red, you're going to you're going to notice if you miss any spots, you're going to notice the white a whole lot more than the black primer because the black actually acts as a kind of natural shading and also helps in later steps uh, with the black ink and then. Um, just kind of gives it that, the red a darker tone. So the red primer I'm actually using is the, the Army Painter Red. Uh, the reason it's the uh, Red Dragon Primer. This just matches really well with Blood Angels, or for my Blood Angels color scheme. So um, I don't work for them, but this is what works for me. So if you guys are trying to paint some Blood Angels quick, check out that primer. Uh, if you find some cheap stuff too, let me know in the comments because I'm always looking for other stuff to try out. So all right, let me go hit it with this red and I'll be right back. As you can see here, now they're all prime red, no shock there. Um, it's really good coverage of that paint, that's why I like it so much. But as you can see, no shock. It makes it really easy to get underneath the guys too, which is kind of important if you're uh, priming stuff. So um, yeah, prime them all red. Next step, we're gonna hit them with ink, whatever kind of, uh, we're gonna hit them with black wash, whatever you have laying around or whatever wash you're using. I have a bunch of Bedat Black and some normal oil that I still have um, from previous paint job so I'm gonna use that to uh, kind of coat these bad boys so it's gonna be your next step hit them with black wash bing bang boom I've used the ink of doom if painting was a professional sport black wash would be the performance enhancing drug of choice as you can see they're all washed up ready to rock the next step is actually going to be to touch up everything with red paint um, maybe some classic you know a fist on red blade into red whatever red you have laying around uh, I'm gonna go in and touch up the uh, the top parts, give it a nice highlight with that red to bring it back up to the regular starting color. And then you can glue them to the base and uh, touch up step. So yeah, next up, red paint. This is what the minis are gonna look like once that red highlight step is finished. The one on the left obviously is done, the one on the right is not. Um, you definitely don't wanna get into the recesses all the way to cover up the black wash, otherwise what's the point? but then you do have uh, some nice texture there. I went ahead and glued them to the base as well. Uh, it makes it more stable for me to paint and get into the nooks and crannies a little bit easier. If you notice in this tutorial, I haven't attached the bolters yet and I haven't gone over any of the metals or any stuff like that. Saving that for next week, I'm another tabletop ready with me, Adam Harry. So come back next week, check us out here at Bowls. Uh, again, give us a like, subscribe if you like what you're seeing. And again, come back next week. This is Adam Harry signing off. Have a good one.